We have three of us again for about the second time in two months. Pretty much. We'll just start with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is a rarity today. It's going to be a quick one because happy opening day of football. Okay. This is just a great weekend. Here. Football's we got like in an hour. We got foot, time for an hour. Football podcast. today. Football, football tomorrow. tomorrow. Football Sunday. Football Monday. Yeah, college, college football, football Saturday, Saturday, if you're into that. Not my thing, but football is back. Um, we're not a football podcast, so we won't spend too much time no, there. No, but... we... We were, I remember an episode, we were a football podcast just because that was when my Eagles were going to the Super Bowl because mm. <laughs> we talked about them for 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so baseball happened. I feel like these podcasts are starting to get very repetitive on what we talk about. Very much because it's a lot of the same stuff. Uh huh. Um, I still don't feel terrible about this team. I don't know about you guys. I don't either just because it's no, I'm start, but I'm starting to I... sour on some individuals, but. I'm starting to sour on Brant's Leo Jimenez better than Bobochet. I um, no, no, I'm on that team as well. Him, no, Bobochet is the starting. Leo shortstop. Jimenez. Leo Bobuchet is the Bobochet is the starting shortstop on this team next year. The Jimenez not when he gets traded. The Jimenez of the round table will not be denied. Okay, the he's Himanites... not getting traded. How does it make any sense to trade him coming off a down year where he's been hurt half the year? Because you're well, not going to get he anything. Maybe regain his value back for midseason, which There's... is. We could yeah. change this argument here, but but you're not trading in mid season if you're trying well, to you're, contend. I think if you were gonna trade him at some point, do you think he <clears> has more value at the beginning of the season or at the deadline? You're not trading him at the deadline if you're gonna contend. Yeah, maybe they're trying to contend next year. If Boba if he comes back and has like a solid three weeks here, you might raise his value a little bit, but his value is in the shitter. Yeah, there is no point trading him. Because no, you're gonna it doesn't get make a ton of sense. Turn. Take him, let him play out the year. If they have a good team, he's gonna be back to the Bobochet we like to watch. And then if he walks in free agency, you get when a conflict for it. It is what it is. When he walks. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it's way. I don't think it's if anymore. And I think that's the only reason they look at trading him, even with his value where it's at. I think there's still a slight chance if they have a turnaround next year when he, we were winning, he seemed to enjoy his time here. He is yeah. the one of the two they were able to complete a bridge deal type, whatever you want to call it, with through his Arab years. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trading him because Leo's him. Um, I don't think Leo's ever going to be what Bo Bichette is at any point in time. But currently, in the year 2024, Leo has better stats, and I'm running with that. That's not... the amount. The amount of offense we're going to need next year. Going to need more than Leo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, been I good though, man. I hope he isn't on the major league roster because I hope they give him another year to season. He's still only like 23, 23. which has been great. But yeah, uh, like even if we trade Bobochet, I don't think you can expect to be a playoff player. team with Leo as your starting shortstop. No, probably not. There but is, he has looked yeah. better every day. Sorry, Connor. Sorry. Yeah, he looks good. No, no, you're good. There is one player who Brant doesn't like, and I used to be on mm. team Brant with that one, but I have a meet. I'm kind of I'm tilting back. To the to being like I'm indifferent or he's actually good. Addison Barger, what the fuck? He's good. He's just good now. Yeah, I haven't watched much this week, but they keep talking about him. He's I'm like hitting rockets. He's got he's got pop from the left side, man. Like this free agency is kind of weird. Um, if, if, dude, if 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 you're starting third baseman next year, are we? I don't think it's terrible. I think it's right now. You're looking at probably him or um or Vlad. He's like so if they bad go get a Walker or a um defensively lately. Don't don't Alonso. he's been better defense. He's been he's Brant, he's been good better defensively since he's got better. He's, he's been, been just a better, better player, period. But he's, he's still bad also, defensively. It's he's also look at look at what we've done to him though. Camp was shortstop, sure. third, put him in the outfield. He's played he's playing all over the place. Like let the guy settle into to a position, give him an offseason to work at being a third baseman. I think he'll be fine. If maybe, maybe I don't see a lot in any position that he's played so far that's made me feel very good about him defensively. But he, Connor's right; he is hitting rockets right now. Um, you can I do a lot fear... worse than playing him and Ernie at third base next year. I think sure, for sure. Yeah. I fear that he's going to be a little Dalton Varsho esque, where it's like there's going to be runs like a month long run where he just shits on balls for a month, and then all of a sudden he can't hit a baseball for a month and a half. Also, but. Slight, slight shout out to Dalton Varsho. We hit 280 last month. 
That's what I mean. He's, I he goes on those months. Didn't know that. I hope it's more uh, Lourdes Curiel esque than that. Where because when Dalton goes cold, it's like 400 OPS. Yeah. Well, that's kind of my fear here. But his highs aren't as high. I think Barger has the opportunity to be the highs better. that Lourdes did yeah. with more pop. That's fair. That's probably a better comp than mine. It just feels like that type of player where you're getting. Yeah. It, Lourdes is probably a good one because Lourdes is kind of the yeah. same thing. You get like a month where he gets super hot and like he's the hottest player in the league. And then, yeah. And then nothing his, for his two down months. months Chapman. Were like mid to yeah. low sevens. Chapman was just started hot and was never hot again. But. Oh my god, wasn't he like a, a 1200 OPS? Yeah, he was nasty. And, and then after that, it was like six, 650, mm-hmm. 655, 667, mm-hmm. seven, David Schneider esque. Oh man, uh, David said a double the other day. That's a good sign. We don't need to talk about him. Um, I anything major you guys want to talk about here? Um, I mean, I get shout out to. Zebby Matthews for giving the Jays a nine, giving giving the Jays a nine spot in the first two innings against the Twins for one of those games. <laughs> like, oh, the pitcher for the Twins. What was he his name? Zebby Matthews. Okay. Shout out to him. He gave him <laughs> nine runs in two innings. Are you sure that was his name? <laughs> Zebby. Yeah, that's not a name. I'm gonna just. Why would I just say Zebby? I don't know. That just doesn't sound right. <laughs> Of all the of all the names in baseball that you have ever heard, Zebby Matthews is the one uh-huh. who going to question me. Yeah, D- are you looking it up right now? Yeah, are we talking about the Phillies games? Or are we talking? No, about this is okay. the Twins. See, I was thinking the Phillies games because I'm like, that was definitely not that guy's name. <laughs> okay, now I'm back with you. Got it. Yeah. Like, well, shout out to what's his name too in that Phillies game. He got lit. Phillips. Tyler Phillips. Tyler yeah. Phillips. Thank you. That one ended real good, right? It didn't mean shit. No. Hey, let's not worry about how these games end. Let's just focus no. on the high points here. Especially, especially don't, don't talk about Chad Green recently. Uh, nine nine runs against the Phillies is fantastic. Aleo bomb, guys, super cool. Did you guys talk about Dylan Tate? Was that after the no, podcast? No, Dylan was, after. was after. Dylan Tate was after. I think that's a great move. It wow. is. I like it. Guy used to be gross. Mm-hmm. Was, did thought, did Taylor Rogers go unclaimed? I think he did because I haven't heard about a team picking him up. That's which wild. is insane. I mean, 12's a big price tag, but you like somebody could have used that. Pyro is strong. Like a lot of guys went unclaimed, except the only guys that got claimed were. Uh, yeah, Gross- they went to Kansas City. Yeah, Grossman and Fam, and they went to Kansas City. And- no, there was somebody else. They did. A, they did about four. Guriel also. Yuli Guriel. Yuli, yeah. Know. And I think that was. I think that was it for them. What? Was it Tyler Rogers? Tra- Taylor. Taylor Rogers. Taylor is the lefty. Is Taylor spelled with an E R or is it O R? But those guys, a lot of those guys still has him with San Fran. So, yeah, no, but that was the it's the goofy waivers. Remember, what, like the Angels did last year, where mm-hmm. Randall Gritchick on waivers, but he was still playing. Mm-hmm. So it's it's that waiver, like so. It's crazy. It's been a week, so oh, yeah. strange. Uh, Shout out the Giants. Yeah, for- that move was great. I think it made a lot of sense. However, it did lead to the Paolo Espino DFA. So, <sighs> Paolo, se- Paolo, Paolo season's yeah. done. Yeah, Paolo. Uh, we hardly knew you. He started one game, I think, for the Jays. He got lit up too. It wasn't yeah. good. He get, didn't he get hit up Jackson Holiday the grand slam to Jackson Holiday. Oh, then he was in two games because I watched another game of him earlier in the year. Mm-hmm. He, he started one early in the yeah. year. I think. He started yeah. one early in the year, and then he went down again, and then he came back up. He pitched the first game. I think it was one of the doubleheader games against the Orioles, and gave up the Jackson Holiday grand slam. Didn't he also have a million strikeouts in spring training? Let's just remember him. For yeah, that. dude. Me. Yeah. Paolo, oh, Brent, I don't I know if I'm I'm the one to tell you this or not, but I think it's time to hang him up, fella. Yeah. <laughs> He's like Dude, he, he, 52, he better, is he not? He had, he had better stats than Trevor Richards in, in spring training. <laughs> that's Brant's Might that's have Brant's better like, stats like, than Trevor. Almost had better stats than Trevor Richards in the regular season. No, no, Trevor, no. No, no Trevor Richards on the Twins. Ah. Um, Nate, he Nate, pitched sorry. in three games this year. Okay, I the, saw it. The Trevor Richards pass ball thing. Yeah, I saw it. It's, it's seven wild pitches in thirteen <laughs> innings with or eleven innings with the Twins. That's insane. He had Phenomenal. six with the Jays this year. Uh, Paolo like fifty games. Paolo pitched himself to an eight thirty one ERA this year through three games. He uh, he threw eight and two thirds. To call him an innings eater. Uh, I uh... that's like two three innings a start. That's yep. not an appearance. Call him an innings eater. One only one of them was a start, so let's relax. 
Uh, he gave up three home runs. He struck out three over those. What did I say? Eight and two thirds. Eight and two thirds. K machine. Paulo, we will miss you, my friend. Knocking him down. Yeah. It's fun. It sucks. Very fun. Uh, also, we got to shout out Will Wagner. He's the first Blue Jays rookie ever to have five hits in a game. Him. Him. If we, like, this is completely hypothetical because it's completely stupid and it won't happen. But if we made no moves oh, to Jesus. fix the, the lineup. Oh. What'd you do? I don't know. Did your light turn off? Did his, did, okay. Did, oh, right on. Light cut you out. don't have audio. Okay. so Sorry, man, that's on me. What was I question. saying? You were talking if we were in the middle of it before you oh, cut out the recording. Um, Sorry. Hypothetically. Let's say we're gonna have to edit that last part up. Yeah, I'll fix it. It's fine. Uh, hypothetically, the Jays make no moves on the lineup this season. Are we really not? Are we that bad going into next year? Yes. Yes. On the lineup part. Yes. Yes. I don't think we are. Yes. Grant, you cannot rely on the hot runs and the power of and the current power run of Addison Barger and like. Sure, Spencer but like Warwick. these guys have also been streaky as hell. It's not like any of them have been consistently hot for this entire run. Like. Loberfito's been up and down. Will Wagner's been up and down. Spencer Horowitz has been up and down. Barger, I guess you can say, is kind of consistently. Been he's been more up than down. More up hey, than hey, down. Let's, let's just do this, okay? Working serving. So, Bo is playing short over Leo. Sure. Because cool. you're not making any moves. You're sure. not making any moves. Bo is still here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, your top three is Springer, Bo, Vlad. Which is Who's good. your four hitter? It would be. If, if we're going off of this year's lineup, it's Spencer Horowitz. Who's your five hitter? It's Addison Barger. Will, uh, Addison, probably if if your four or five is Will. Barger is Barger uh Horowitz. Okay, so we're stacking lefties four or five. Interesting yep. choice. Who's your six? six? Your six is Kirk. You have a lot of lefties. I think Kirk's hitting five over them. That makes more so sense fine, lefty righty. Who's seven? Oh, fine. Bar- Horowitz four, Kirk five, Barger six, and then seven is. What do you have left? You have Loperfido, you have Varsho. Davis, you have Varsho. Also, Varsho is probably hitting up in the four. You have Will Wagner. You have Ernie. And you have Ernie. I, I think in... Holy shit. We're not going to get this run out of Ernie. That was kind of the one I didn't really account for. Ernie's that's, not going to be That's the again. one of all of these guys who you're worried about going in yes. next year. Yes. He's put together a full season of good baseball. No! He's, he was shit for two months. <laughs> And he's what's his OPS? Now he's great. Grant, Grant, Gavin's mm-hmm. been gone for three months. You're allowed to get off the Ernie hate hate. I st- I don't hate Ernie, but I I don't trust that Ernie has been or is going to continue to be this. But you okay? But by the same token, you can't trust that Addison Barger's still going to be hitting. No, dismissals. you're right. You can't That's trust. Fair. The, you can't trust. That's the, fair, but um, he has the minor league track record for it. Like you know that Barger can hammer baseballs. That's what he does. It's what he's done in the minors. Ernie hasn't really done this. Brant, what is what are you what is happening sure. right now? What? What is happening right now, Brant? Like I'm not Ernie's gonna say the seven hundred OPS on the season. Ern? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's good. Like let me see his OPS plus. Give me a second. It's like one ten. It's like one oh five, I think. Which I'm not gonna complain about. No. I'm I'm not saying this team would be Elite by any means, but I think if you it's take a this team. offense, I think if you take this offense and you add one starter and a bullpen that is any sort of capable, like you're competing for a playoff spot. So, so you're having them Cleveland Guardians this. I think you're sure. drunk. I, yeah, Brand. Man, have you seen the numbers since the the trade deadline? So you yeah. think Will Wagner is going to keep this up? You think Joey Loperfito is going to keep this up? You think Varsho is going to be I this hope Loperfito doesn't keep you this up. He's got like Horowitz a sub six. Gonna keep this up. Loperfito hasn't even been good. Horowitz also has not been that great since the All Star break. Like none of these guys Horowitz. are really. I'm saying the that was the last one you said. Wagner. Wagner was the first one you said. Wagner's not hitting three hundred. Did I say Horowitz? I meant fucking Barger. If I did. Yeah, Barger. Bro, this is this. That's a bad day. I don't I think, think Barger, those lineups that bad. Barger and Loperfito are two guys that you can just be like, okay, you're going to hit between 230 and 245, and you'll mm-hmm. probably run into 2025. Right. People. Which is okay. what they're both doing right now. Okay, I, let's just let's just do this. Let's go around our infield. Mm-hmm. And we'll just do the AL East. Would sure. this player start on any of the AL East teams? Okay. Okay. 
Yes. Kirk. Yes. No. I think Kirk starts on maybe Tampa. I think he starts on Tampa. He starts on Tampa and that's it. I think he. He's not starting over Adley. He's not I think he's starting over. He's competing for a spot in Boston, but I... Connor Wong is fucking hitting like three hundred right now. They weren't Connor even starting Wong. Connor Wong. They were starting fucking Jano again. He's Jano started two of the three, four, three of the four games against us. Okay, so okay. realistically, he platoons in Tampa and Boston, gets a little sure. bit of run in New York. Okay, right. He's not. Fine and he's not playing. Austin Wells is also hot as fuck. I guess so that yeah, doesn't and, really. But, but Austin and, and Austin Jose Trevino's been... also been solid. He's been hurt this year, so okay. Trevino was ass before he got hurt. But I'm up before this year. He's been good, but he's been first, hurt this year. first base. We don't even need to talk about. Blood but starts on every team in the league. Starts on every first team. base. Yes, like second base. We say who's we'll, we'll Wagner. Horowitz or Wagner. Horowitz probably starts on a, at least two or three. Hor- I think Horowitz starts on Tampa. He starts on New York. He's starting over Brandon Lau. He's... Brandon Lau. Fucking his brain got Lau. better. You're right. He was ass last year. He's, is he? Who's it? Okay, move second? on. Yeah, Bo Bichette. Currently, no, I'm think, saying no. I'm oh. saying to another. T- so he starts on Boston. That's it. And I don't know who's playing second for them because it's always changing. It's, it's always like changing. second for the even Yankees Hamilton, who's been gross. It's, Gla- it's like Glaber. He started over Glaber. Glaber's ass. Yeah, he's starting over Glaber. The Orioles is Jackson Holiday currently. He's not I think current over Jackson Holiday. On performance, currently he starts over Jackson Holiday, but yeah. no, he does not start over Jackson Holiday in the long run. Um, next year he would not. Next year he would not. Uh, shorts, do we just short stop? Bo Bichette. Bo starts uh, on every team except for no, Bo starts on every team. No, Orioles. He's starting over he's Gunner. He's a start over Gunner. Gunner's yeah. ass defensively, too, though. Okay, but he's Gunner's hitting 40. Bombs. <clears throat> I don't think Gunner's a shortstop for very long. But... <laughs> Gunner's, hitting four, Gunner's hitting 40 bombs. Third base, are we, are we putting Ernie Clement? I think or... we don't have a third or... baseman, so whoever our third baseman is, yeah, I was gonna say, not starting over Devers, not <laughs> starting no. over uh, Jordan Westberg. Not starting over. Uh, Could start over. I guess jazz. Jazz. I guess it would be jazz. Ooh, wouldn't start over. J- I thought. And, I, and he's not. Th- he's not I starting I was over. Say DJ. But no, he's not. And also, I think DJ. Everyone DJ. should start over DJ right now. Yes. And yeah, but, and but then it he's also be jazz. Tampa's is Junior Caminero, who's their number one prospect. He's not uh-huh. over. Like left field, Joey Loperfito. He's starting over Alex Verdugo, and that's like that's kind of it. I, think. I don't think Loper Vito. I think Loper Vito is on a terrible run right now, and he's still putting up. So he's up. He's got point four B war already. Yeah, he's 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 like, starting over Verdugo, and I think that's it. Center field. Varsho. Varsho's probably getting a start. If he doesn't start in center, he's starting in a lot of these outfields. He's he's starting. Yes. I think in New defensively York defensively and hitting nine, moving yeah, off exactly. center, but like he's not playing center in New York or Boston. Uh, he probably plays over Siri, Siri, Siri a very Anthony, similar maybe. player. Like, and he's not. He's probably starting over um, what's his name in center in Baltimore. Horowitz and Kouser? Brandon Lauer. Oh no, Kouser. Kouser and Mullins in center. Mullins, Mullins has been good though. Yeah. Um. Right field. I'm taking Springer starting, starting over, Santander, over everyone, but Soto. Santander won't be there next year. Will I'm, I'm taking. We're not talking a... about that. We're talking about this year. You said starting next year. No, I'm okay, saying well, this year. Okay, well, okay this year, him. fine. Fine, he doesn't start over Santander, or he probably pushes Santander to a DH spot. If we're being honest, he's okay. He's he's maybe he's pushing Santander to a DH spot. He's not starting he's, over one. No, but the point is, he's he's, they're not over. starting over the guy. These guys, mm-hmm. yeah, that's the point. Not, he's he's not, guys. Okay, we're also going the division with two of the best teams in baseball right now, and they're Which starting is your on most of these teams for, that you play the most. Sure, but like you could do this with any other division, and you half these guys are going to be starting. Division. You have to. We're not yeah. going to beat this division you unless to we're throwing together. Also, so this division how are you going to make the worse. playoffs if you're not beating this division? Because there's three wild card spots, and realistically, if they had, if this I'm team not had a you bullpen have win, for the back half of this year, they would be in a playoff spot. Right? You now. don't have to be first place, but you have to beat this division to make the playoffs. You have to be at you least have to 500 beat the teams or better in this division at, at minimum. Sure, and like, I think that's very doable next year. When Juan Soto goes literally anywhere else, he's not though. You're kidding yourself it, if you think he's better. He, it's them or the Mets. That kid, that's Boob Nightingale, man. Like I don't trust. No, that's Bob not just thing. Boob. That's like the general that's consensus. Real, everyone. That's because they're they saying, have the money. Boob has go, us. It, anyone there's, that wants him can go out and get saying one. Saying there's a chance of us and the Nats the, those, and the Giants. And the Giants. Those are the only five teams I've heard in and this conversation. Does it make sense for the Nats because they don't spend? They don't fucking spend money. 
They've tried a couple times. They have. They've tried, but like they tried on Soto game. and they tried on Harper. And also, they they have a super young and really potentially highly talented outfield. I also would love him in that lineup. That'd be so much fun. An outfield of Dylan Cruz, James Wood, and Juan Soto. Mm-hmm. Well, my That's center fielder, I forget his name, is like Jacob the best in center for in the league almost. <laughs> Jake, yeah, Jacob Young. He's ridiculous. God, I really want Juan Soto to go back. He's not going to San Francisco. No. Um, because he's not Barry Bonds. No. That's a long way to the right field, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think I genuinely think this team and the way it's constructed, the lineup right now could compete. Could pe- compete. I'm not saying they're going to be a pl- – they would be a playoff team, but I think with this lineup and what okay. we've seen, they could compete next year if they put together – The Jays are going to finish with, what, 70-something wins, 78, 79 wins maybe on a good note, like on a high end? No. Probably. Like between 75 wins? Probably. Yeah. Brant, if, if, if this is the lineup for the entire year, there may be 500. Dude, if we had a bullpen this week, we would have four more wins. They blew four games this week. Just the bullpen alone. Chad Green did two. Chad Green two, two. on his own. Chad Green two. <laughs> they're like, better. They're not. What are we talking about, team, bro? Hmm? They're, yeah, they're they're not a playoff team. They're better. They're not a playoff team. I think they're com. I mean, it doesn't take much to be a playoff team. Okay. Right now. Just, I th- okay. So what you're basically doing is you're replacing. Just think about this. You're replacing mm-hmm. IKF with Will Wagner and what Addison Barger at that point. Which is probably an upgrade. The the uh, the beginning of this year's team compared to the, the beginning of or the, the current team. You're also replacing Vlad with Vlad because the beginning Vlad of this Vlad. season's Vlad was not you're replacing, this. You're replacing Jano with Brian Servan. You're replacing That's Cav bad. and IKF with Wagner and Barger. Upgrade. Uh, you're Maybe replacing. Not. If Bo comes Justin back Turner and, is and Bo, Kevin Kiermaier, this is a Leo. different conversation. Sure. Yeah, if we're replacing Kevin Kiermaier and Justin Turner with Leo Jimenez and Joey Lopefito. I'm sorry, who's the first? What were the two names from the Jays we're replacing? Turner and Kiermaier with Loperfito and Jimenez, which is an upgrade. And you're and technically Daniel Vogelbach with Spencer Torwitz, which is a significant upgrade. Like, I don't know, man. I think they're significantly and, better. And then you add a bullpen to it, and George would still be the same George. <laughs> Realistically, if we took this shit ass team that we had this year and we had a bullpen, it might be a different conversation. This is true. Like they were only like three games out of the playoff, like relatively recently before we're the deadline. Like six and a half back, okay. not that long ago. Let's yeah. let's take a different approach to this. Mm-hmm. You think this team this year, mm-hmm. who are they beating out to get that playoff spot? The twins. They oh. literally could have just swept the series with the twins like last week. Twins are ass. Hey, they're not. Uh, just, let's just go over the teams that they're not taking out mm. currently. They're not taking out the Yankees. They're not taking nope. out the Orioles. No, they're not taking, not taking out, out the Royals. They're not taking out the Royals. They're not. I don't think they take out the Guardians. Currently, they might. I don't think. I don't think they take out the the Astros. Yeah, but they're in the West, so it doesn't. Really they're matter. already. They blocked up that. It's not going anywhere. And then what? The the Mariners and the Rangers are poop. Yeah, no. So, like, I don't think they're taking like. The Royals and Twins, I guess, maybe. So that's minimum. That's minimum five. That's that's just like, okay, fine. We're debating four or five teams in the playoffs sure. already, and that's like, I don't care mean, about the ones that are at the top here. I don't care about Baltimore, Houston, New York. I didn't. We didn't need to chase them. Also, no, I just got a worse record. Than your, kid. No, I know. I'm just talking. I'm saying the Connor current here. field. All I'm chasing is Minnesota, which which is not hard. I mean, not hard. If we would have if we would have had a bullpen for that series, we would have been four games back from them. Correction, if which had... lineup healthier are you taking, ours or Minnesota's? Minnesota. Uh, well, Minnesota's lineup isn't good, is it? I don't even remember you, who's on their lineup. Grant, you're taking you're Paul taking, Royce Lewis exists. You're taking They're not Royce like Lewis a... and Byron Buxton. You're taking and Correa, who's been really Correa, good this year. Eddie oh, Julian yeah. comes back and he's decent. Or can Kepler and Larnick and yep. like and then... Walner. I'll like, give uh, you Minnesota. Willie, fine. All-star Willie Castro. <laughs> Isn't there ca- who's their catcher? They put a whole time. Jeffers? time. Jeffers this, isn't good. Their lineup put up five runs against us in three games. No Buxton, no Correa. Buxton hasn't there's never no they, you can't count on six. Buxton. Keep that's the same. <laughs> Dang t- Minnesota has no Buxton is saying like water's wet. It's the same fucking thing, man. There's Minnesota hasn't had Buxton ever. That's not something you count into that lineup. I did say if healthy. If sure. healthy. 
a healthy sure, like, but like so they're not and you're adding just... what you're adding Bo to this lineup instead of Jimenez and like that's like sure. that for us yeah which it's just negligible currently as it sits like we can go through that guys. again and ask which guy you want off of each team because I know which team it's gonna be yeah like, I don't know I don't think I don't know. I think this lineup's better than it's you guys are giving it credit for, and I think they would genuinely okay, compete next year. No, no, I think I think the lineup has been solid. It's been better, but I don't and, just no, want to back my way in. And I'm not saying you should. I'm I'm saying it's not going to happen, and it'd be stupid if it did. But if they didn't make a single move, like I still think it would be a competitive lineup. Was the whole I mean, way back banking, in the beginning of this conversation was what I said. You're banking on a lot of to go right for sure. Things you want to write, yeah, for sure. I can see it. I'm here for it. Realistically, what's happening is they're going to, I think they make a run for Soto. Mm-hmm. I, think I think they I, should. I think there's a chance they make a run for Willie Adamas. Mm-hmm. I think if you uh, get Adamas, you trade Bo. Yeah. Like even at his shit value. You don't keep both. I don't you think. You can move make Adamas sense. to third, man. Yeah, but why? For a year? Move Bo to third. Move to Bo to the moon. I, I think. Because that makes you Move Vlad to third. Better. Fuck Here's, it. There is three like clear, hey, Blue Jays, go get these people, and a lot of your quote unquote issues are fixed. Other Anthony, than Juan Soto. And then they slam Tander. Santander, Tyler O'Neill, and mm-hmm. like Pete Alonso, if you feel interested. Cool. Like that those are the three players that if you get one of them. I don't love Pete Alonso, but if you no, move Vlad to third and then Pete Alonso at first. Just, defense is non existent, but I, fuck fun. It. Fuck it. Hey, Brand, um, we had you you know this better than like mm-hmm. than anybody. 2021 and 2022, terrible defense, but some of the most fun baseball fun. of your so life. Fun. <laughs> like, so fun. So fun. 2021 was a 91 win team, and mm-hmm. 2022 was a what a 92 win team? Mm-hmm. <laughs> fun. <laughs> fun. And keep in mind, in 2022, you had two of the shittiest starters in the league, and Jose mm-hmm. Barrios and Yusei Kikuchi. Mm-hmm. And you were a 90 fun. plus win team. <laughs> Let's just we were, hit balls we fucking, hard again. We were fucking debating Ross Stripling over Jose Barrios in a playoff game in the year 2022 <laughs> on like, a 90-win team. We also need to realize they brought in a fuck ton of prospects that are mm. basically major league ready, and they're mm. not going to stay in the system. Yes. Like, all, a like, lot of them are going to They're going to make trade. trades, too. Yeah. I wouldn't be – I would not be shocked if, like – a. A, I hate to say this, a, like a Leo Jimenez is gone next year, or like a fucking Will Wagner even. That like, makes sense. Will Perfido. Low per- I wouldn't be shocked if any of these guys are in the gone. If any gone. of the ones we've seen down the stretch here would be interesting trade bait, especially after what they've done. Like, w- w- yeah. Wagner, Wagner's hot. Like, he's, if if you flip Wagner and get like a decent... Wagner's also 26. What, see, that's the thing, which is so why kinda, it's like... It's a tough one. Again, which is why like Leo's 23. You mm-hmm. could you could get something more for Leo, I think, than same with Barger and Classe. Classe yeah. is twenty two, maybe twenty three. Like, and they're prospects, guess, man. Look at look at David Schneider last year, and now look at him. Also, uh, since we're on the topic of prospects, I just want to quickly shout out the Jays had two players of the month in the minors: Alan Roden and Arjun Damala. We had a player of the month in the majors. Roden's another one, man. He can be gone. Did- yeah, bro. Roden in he the month. fits that yeah. same profile. Roden in. I don't know Jesus where you fit Christ. Roden into this team. He's like a first base left. He's he's a first base he's, left fielder. He's an outfielder. He's Joey Loprofito. They played him in. I remember. Wait, I think worse. on the pod they played him in center for a game, even in Buffalo. Like I don't think Roden grades out power wise anywhere near what Loprofito is. No, and he doesn't obviously. I think Loprofito has like a better bat the ball skills, and so. he's got plus plus speed. As opposed to Roden. I don't think Roden does. Yeah. Roden has like speed, but it's not. Yeah. I'm like, saying they're essentially buying for the same position. No, that's what I mean. Him. Yeah. No, I, I get what you're saying. I'm just thinking Roperfito's just kind of blocked him out. Yeah. yeah. Horowitz, Wagner, and Roden kind of all do the same thing mm. for me. Like, uh, Wagner plays the infield. Well, so does Horowitz. So does Horowitz. Horowitz. Horowitz and Wagner play first and second. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Roden plays first base, left field, and they all are bat to ball guys. Oh, you mean like hitting wise? Yeah. Okay. I thought you meant just generally. Uh, I don't know. I just, I, I think Roden's kind of a little more blocked out than the rest of these guys. Like, there's a lot of holes in the infield. There's a little bit less holes in the outfield. Like, there's two outfielders that are locked in next year. Mm-hmm. You're not moving George. You're not moving Dalton. You have one spot, and there's three or four guys, I think, that are above Loperfito. Or, sorry, above. Um, and Roden. if we're looking at this team realistically, mm-hmm. 
it shouldn't be any of those fucking guys. No. You it's need a, it's a, a spot Tyler where you can O'Neal pick up, yeah. Or uh, Santander playing out there every day. You could mm-hmm. also run. Eat. I don't think either of them are great defensively. Those two. And there's a big hole at the DH position. Yeah, you could. I think Santan Santan there's like sneaky okay. He's Is okay. It? He's like this. This this may not be where I intend this line of thing to go. He's Teoscar okay in the outfield. That's not good. Like no no no, but not not Toronto Teoscar. Like. Yeah, you can throw him like, out there. Like Seattle and like Dodgers Tay Oscar, who's like average with a pretty good arm. I remember seeing him make some pretty nice plays this year. I also yeah. remember him being terrible. Also, we got to look at the outfields he's been, the corner outfields he's been playing in. Sure. He's been playing with that shitty high wall in Baltimore yeah. his entire career. Santander's like, got a, he's in the 29th percentile for fielding run value, which is kind of just what you're saying. Like you can throw yeah. him out there. He's yeah, not, but, he's below average, but you can run him out there. Below average. But when he's giving you like 35 home runs and 80 RBI, you shut up. Yeah. Like also, have you guys, speaking of outfielders, have you seen Tyler O'Neill's like stats? No. He's like 25 home runs, but only like 52 RBI. Yeah, it's nuts. He just doesn't hit home runs with guys on. Nuts. Bro, why do we keep using lefties against him? I think that was last week and I missed that. Wait, who? Oh, Wait, we f- O'Neal? Tyler O'Neill? <laughs> I don't remember if he hit another bomb. Oh, or yeah. Not. I think, okay, he did because I was sitting, I remember watching that game and I was like, okay, I forget who he had. It must have been Little. And fucking O'Neill comes up. I'm like, why the, f- like, when do we learn? We don't. No, we don't at all. Dude, fucking. Kyle Schwarber just hit three home runs in a game against us and then let off the next game with a home run. Say, we don't had... learn. <laughs> yeah, we can Kyle... establish that one. Like Kyle Schwarber, sneaky, unreal season right now. Mm-hmm. Also terrible lately before that. So Yeah, also he's crazy. leading the MLB in walks. I didn't mm-hmm. realize how many leadoff home runs Kyle Schwarber has. He, uh, he just tied the MLB record in leadoff home runs for a single season. No, but he's, he's I think he's 41 in his career. He has 13 this year. Like, that's a for, lot. For reference, he's 19 behind George. Yeah, I don't no think he was a leadoff guy career. for most of his career either. He's, he's, no, he has, I think they, they said it. Hold up. Hold up. MLB he's career. been hitting leadoff for like two years. He No, he's he, he hit leadoff in Washington. I do remember that. So it's like, it's been at least three years of him hitting leadoff. Didn't like, even play a full year in Washington. 40, 44. 44, yeah, exactly. 40, 40, 40, 40, leadoff home run. 44. <laughs> Ninth most all time. He's tied with he's tied. He's what was this? He's Brady? 13 this year, bro. <laughs> That's insane. Like, yeah, so this actually, this is his uh no, actually, it is his third season of so it's been his fourth year leading off, like pretty much. Because he did it in Washington and then he's like, averaging half 11 a year. a year. Yeah, he did it in Washington, and then he he had three years of, of being leadoff hitter in Philly. That's fucked. That's nice. like that's why I didn't think it could be 44 because I didn't think it could be 11 a year. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, but right, George, um... George has been basically in the leadoff spot since like 2016 and he's just 60. Schwarber has 44. But it's, he's not Schwarber. No, 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 no. no. Schwarber's like... also like barely a leadoff guy. He just walks a lot. Dude, it's it was. He so doesn't funny. fit any other. It, it was so funny. Leadoff. He's hitting about 245. His OBP is about 370. Yeah, it's yeah. nuts. Because he walks all the time. Yeah. It was very funny watching uh, Kyle Schwarber lead off, and then next up was Trey Turner. <laughs> yeah, the completely the backwards. Quintessential man. leadoff guy. <laughs> makes it makes no sense, but here we are. Uh, um, Nate, last week you wanted to talk something about awards. You still yeah, want to do that? We we left. That I do week. actually. Okay. Okay. But like. Uh, I want to start somewhere else with the awards first. Okay. Because there's getting to be a pretty heated debate in the NL on mm. the MVP Oh, award. fuck off. No. I don't think it should be. It's not. It's not. I don't care. War? I don't give a shit. It's not really. Wait, what war are we talking about now? This is like arguing F4 Aaron Judge or B Bobby Witt. I'm sick remember. of it. I saw it last night. No, I was, I was very not even surprised. Close. Okay, fine. For the people uh, that don't It must aware. be F war then because it yeah. wasn't close. It, For the um, people that aren't aware, Lindor are... was but a point and a half or one point two ahead of Otani. Again, mm. defense and in in just because he plays. I, I think it should be Otani, mm-hmm. but Otani should have a 50 50. Yes, and that's outstanding. But while batting three hundred, play on one side of the ball. Yeah, but he's also closed 
even by F4, he's that close without playing defense. Yeah. Yeah. Which is insane. <laughs> it is. It's a 1.2, isn't it? I can, I can still pull them up here. It's not loading me. Oh, that is it's already loaded. Uh, I hate fan graphs trying to figure things out. Again, brain. Uh, computer fights you. Six points six for Shohei. And he's like seven point seven or something. Uh, seven point three for uh, okay, Lindor. Closer than I thought. Closer than I thought. But then okay. so this. I think it's intriguing. Like also. Also, Marcelo Zuna is having a great season. Um, Don't talk about him because he's Marcelo Zuna. That's yeah, right. that. He's but, never going to win it. <laughs> like it's it's a person like it's a personal thing for me. I think it definitely is Shohei, but I have a problem yeah. with giving the MVP to a DH. Yeah, when, but when he's when he's DH. going, he's doing something that nobody's ever done. Like even as a DH, like no DH is ever going to go. No DH is ever going to go forty forty again. No, no DH ever had gone forty three forty three, but he did it. No, <clears throat> like, most DHs aren't going to go thirty thirty. Like DHs don't steal bases. No, I get it. I get it. And like the fact that he's doing this all while being injured is insane. But he's got one arm. Fuck's sake. Okay, it's crazy. But what I what I want to talk about is what I think is kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. So big four sports in North America. Yep. Two of them do the rewards one way, and two of them do them a different way. Okay. Baseball and football mm-hmm. are split between conference. conferences or leagues. Ah. Hockey, basketball, uh, are full not. league. No football. Uh, a football. The only no no no. The only thing is football. It? Football no. MB, MVP is um. Wait. Football's league wide. I think football's also yeah. Football's league wide. Mm-hmm. Because. Is it? Why did I think yeah. it was split? No, it's league wide because you have the, there's, the, there's the MVP. I'm not, of, I'm not enough of a football fan. What it does split it, though it is it splits offensive players and defensive players. It's kind of the I I kind of like. Yeah, you, get, like it's, you have MVP, it's, then you have offensive player of the year, defensive player of the year, and then offensive okay. rookie, defensive. Well, that player. makes my point even more. Mm. All the other three are like across the league. We mm. no longer have no like different rules in both leagues. All right. I think it'd be an interesting conversation to make it one. To make, make it one. one. To make it the one. Shohei Otani award? Pretty much. Like, it's... it's I, the I agree. this year? No, it'd probably be Judge, I would think. I think Shohei would be third. I I think so. Behind Shohei's Bobby? second. I think, yeah. I think Shohei's second. I think based on the fact that he's Shohei Otani, Shohei Otani would be second. Also, a lot of... It's unfortunate, but I think a lot of where Bobby Witt finishes in the MVP race is how the Royals finish as a team. Yeah. Like... He's gonna be top three regardless. Which is which is value. Yeah. You think he's top you think he's not number two? I think he's I think even if he he could have a shit rest of the year, he's still top three regardless, is what I'm saying. Like I think he could have a shit top three shit rest of the year. I think he's still two. I I think like as much as I don't like it, Juan Soto. I think Juan Soto is three in the eight. You think baseball Uh, writers are gonna vote two guys on one team for the most valuable to their team? Yeah. I mean Um, the Nate. It happened to the Jays in 21. 2021 Blue Jays. 2023 Texas Rangers. Yeah. I, you think they're going to be one, two? No. I don't think. Those I, were two, three. I think. One, I don't two. Even, can I speak? I don't even know <laughs> if Juan Soto's three right now. I think Jaron Duran has given himself a chance with like the year that he's put up. As weird as it sounds, I think the as, as much as it. Shouldn't, but their team stinks. No, I, that, that and I think the comment doesn't oh, yeah, help. You're right. True. As much isn't, as it shouldn't take into account, but I think it will. Isn't Gunner still there? Gunner, Gunner has fallen off a little bit, but he's still Fair pretty enough. good. Um, uh, just doubling back here by B War, Shohei's a seven, Lindor is a six point three. Okay, so they're about the same spread on either on side. On both sides, it's so crazy. It's, it's, mainly... it's very like Robbie Ray, Garrett Cole esque is how it feels. Yeah, just just a small side note: Is Francisco Lindor like the most underrated shortstop in the baseball oh, yeah. like last five years by a lot? He was like the second fastest shortstop to get to 300 home runs or or something. He's he's also one of like two or three shortstops to have five 30 home run seasons before like a certain age. Yeah. It's it's crazy how underappreciated he got for a guy that's making And then A-Rod has that record at seven um, (laughs) because he moved off short, but Lindor could easily get that. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you know, it just brings me back. You guys remember that off season where... If it wasn't the Mets, it was probably the Blue Jays getting Francisco Lindor. Uh-huh. Like, 
It seems like that's the case with everybody. Both Hawkins, the people we're talking about Francisco, in that MVP or, race, dude. Francisco Lindor, Jose Ramirez, Juan Soto, Juan Soto, Shohei Otani. Shohei but Otani. Back to, back to my original point. I think it'd make it a much more interesting conversation. Yeah, I kind of like it for sure. But then, like, rather than being the best out of fifteen teams, you're actually the best out in of the, the league. league. Yeah, like when there were different rules and everything, and like Made the rules used sense. to be actually separate and wouldn't play each other. And it was just the odd inner, like the inner league Wait. series in the mm-hmm. middle of the season. There's enough, like sample size. You play everyone. Mm-hmm. I I really do think at this point it should just be league wide. I'm with you. I think. Okay, what if they did this instead? You know how they have the, like the all MLB team mm-hmm. where like regardless of league they do that. Literally, you could still have your AL and your NL MVP, and then you just here's here's the two people vote, and then here's. No. Your... I would hate that. Like, I, don't I don't know why. I, don't think we I think it's just vote. dumb. No, I'm not saying us. No, not, no, no, oh, okay. no, no, no. You're I'm not saying, saying like fans. I'm saying, I'm saying writers. It's like, here's here's Aaron Judge and Shohei Otani. Here, here's your AL and your NL MVP. Right. Now, who is, is the who, league? You should who have is like, the league MVP? Who is MLB's you do, MVP? You could do... I think you do... You um, do the same thing with the Cy Young. Like, I think you do MVP, Cy Young, Young, Rookie of the Year, Manager of the Year, and then you could do like best offensive player... The, the, the Hank Aaron's, award, the Hank right? Aaron's you could do the Hank split. Aaron and like the silver but I think gold gloves would be more fun if they I think were gold gloves should be one like for both leagues same with silver sluggers yeah <clears throat> that now that you mentioned I'm, that it is kind of ridiculous can. that there's 18 now that you of have, also now that you have team each. gold glove and team silver slugger it's nuts there's <laughs> so many awards. and utilities and utilities and utilities so many awards for what but yeah, that's no, what, I didn't like, win you as a utility silver slugger finalist last year. We just forgot that. Like, yeah, like now he's scared. Of you could do, you could do offensive player of the year, like your Hank Aaron award. You could do mm-hmm. a pitcher of the year from each league or whatever. Like, but it doesn't have. I, no, I, I can't. I, I'm with you. I think your point needs Cy some Ron, weeks. Does anyone care about either of these Cy Young races right now? Um, I don't I know. Think it's very, I think it AL kind of just scuba and sail to win at this pretty point. Pretty much at this point, like Class A, he's got a shot unless he's fallen off a bit. Like his numbers were unreal. Yeah. Let me double check. Also, shout out Sale Wheeler's up there, but As... like, wouldn't that be more fun if it was whole league? Yeah. And you were talking about scuba, scuba versus sail, sail would be kind of more Class intriguing. A. It would be. It would still be scuba. I don't know Scoobles numbers, but I'll take your word for it. Has Class A still got a 0.7 year rate. That's yeah, fucking mistaken. insane. Scoob- He's also throwing in, which the crazy part is like he doesn't rack up K's, so he uh-huh. just hawks innings because he gets such quick outs. Which, like, yeah. He's probably, um, what's he at? Like 70? 64 games. Uh, he has 60, 64 and a third. Oh. <clears throat> um, but like, but so, Emmanuel Class A got to Cleveland in 2020. And a couple days ago, he became the Guardians, the Guardian slash Indians all time save leader. That's fucked. Like Cleveland has eighty wins, and he's pitched in sixty. What did I say? Sixty one of them. 60, 61 games. Sixty four games. But he's Fucking not. Insane. He's not only pitching in wins no, too. He's not, so he's, but, no. Like forty one saves already. Um, guys, I, I, there is, I, I just want to bring this up now because it's the best time to probably bring it up. Hmm? Um. The, the White Sox won a game. No, not even. I wasn't even going to go there. They're like, also the worst team all time. There. Um, this is very true. Um, the the like, AL confirmed. Central is like thirty five games. Thirty five games under five hundred, and every team Four but the White teams Sox is over are above five hundred. <laughs> the White Sox are eighty. What are they? Eighty games below five hundred. <laughs> but like, man, um. Yeah, the White Sox are bad. What um, were you going to say? No, it was just, <laughs> like we just derailed it. No, you, it was a good derail. I'm going to be honest. Um, So I have the like as of a couple days ago, someone put out the WRC plus uh, leaders since the all-star break. OK, and Glad. you tell me you One's tell me if 297 or 267. I forget no, 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 which one it is. You tell me which names fucking sound like they do not belong. Santiago Espinal does not belong on that list. <laughs> That's what I was getting. Aaron Judge first at a 257. Mm-hmm. Vlad at a 251. Naturally. Bobby Witt, 224. Just think about it. There's a 27 point difference in WRC plus between two and three. Before we get too far, the fact that Vlad and Judge are that close are kind of crazy giving the year that 
uh, Vlad had a 670 high. OPS. Yeah, if he would have had like yeah. any sort of relevance in April May, we're we're looking at an MVP. Yeah. Well, you just said he's got a 251 since the All Star break. He's sitting at a 170 something, something on the season. On the season. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah, Jordan at two eleven, Cattel Marte at two oh eight, Jock Peterson at two oh three, Juan Soto at one eighty eight, <laughs> Lawrence Bucking Butler one eighty five. He's been gross. Um, Him and Rooker. Holy shit. Yeah, Rooker's um, been way better than I thought he has. Gavin Crazy. Lux at a one eighty four. Yeah, he had a, he's had an unreal second half. Really? Matt Walner one eighty two. And didn't Walner just get sent down or called up or something? Walner, Walner, Kirinov, and, and Larnick all blend together for me. Like they're all the same. Yeah, it's like the one guy. Yeah, you don't even know Kirilov's real name. You just call him Kirinov. <laughs> Alex, you fucking nuts. And in Kirinov 11th Vodka. place, Nate, thanks for fucking spoiling it. San, with a 179, Santiago is. Put- <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> <sighs> you hate to see it. You really do. You, I, I don't. Why? Good for him. Hate, hate to see it. You don't hate it, but like, I hate to see it. No, you know what you hate more? Mm. Sanchez Espinal is doing this, and mm. Kevin Biggio is hitting walk-offs in fucking San That's Sacramento. What you hate to see <laughs> Sacramento, dude. Um. Also, you know what? Small, fun fact: He's been hitting leadoff every game for them since he got there. Kev, my yeah. guy can't even sniff plant in time. You know what in else you hate to see? Have you guys, you guys see the Cubs the other day, bro? You wait, stop for a second. You said on Ernie Clement, yes, Espinal's almost been Ernie Clement yeah, with, like with those numbers in the second half. Really, he sucked. He the year. Seven I don't remember that. Ooh. Um, you guys see the Cubs the other day through a combined no hitter, yeah. And, you, know, you want to know, who, um, who's, you know who's in the middle of that combined no hitter? <laughs> Not that it matters. Eat. Nate Pearson was in the middle of that kind of I know hitter. Have you guys also, seen Nate Pearson's number since he's gone to Chicago? Doesn't he have like a one two? He's got a two two. Fuck. Yeah. He's got a two two. He's throwing sixteen bullpen. and a third. Get this. Okay. So he's throwing sixteen and a third. He has two walks. That's not Nate. Pearson. I'm not saying Pete Walker needs to be looked at, but I'm saying Pete Walker needs to be looked at. <laughs> look at look at you say. He's got a point. You say oh, you we'll say do you say his numbers in a second too, but um He's got a point six seven whip since going to Chicago. He had a one and a half here. Imagine that. Uh, imagine he's given up the same amount of home runs for nine, so that's okay. Imagine give, imagine having that in the ninth inning right now instead of Chad Green. He had three point eight walks per nine while he was here. He has a one point one. Uh his strikeouts have gone down. He had eleven and a half strikeouts per nine here. He has eight point three in Chicago. We we we've talked about it, but like we talked about the opening day starter issues we've had. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it might be starting to be an issue. No one wants to shit on Pete Walker, mm-hmm. but like it's, I think Pete Walker's done some good things, and he's done no, no, some like, things not as well. He's clearly fixed. He's clearly he clearly. Well, we all remember he fixed Stephen Matz and Robbie Ray. Right. He fixed. He fixed. You say Kikuchi. He fixed him. One. Even when he was bad, he was he better was, than he was before. He was still four. He was still fours, and not like yeah. Six. The year before he got here, or his first year here, he had a five one nine. Yeah, and then what? The year before he had a four four, but it was because he, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, he had a monster first half, but he was a five one seven and a five four six in the years before that. So did you see we fired our pitching coordinator or yeah. something? Yes, I don't know his yeah. name. I don't even. I couldn't have told you what he did before that day. Uh, you say Kikuchi while we're on the topic two five seven in Houston. He hasn't lost yet. He's also humming like 12K games like it's nothing. Mm-hmm. He has 47 strikeouts in 35 innings. He's given up four homers, 10 walks. Good for a 943 or 90, 0.94 whip. Sorry, this is 0.943. I don't know why they do three digits. Uh, he's got a 284 FIP, which is also stupid. Uh, and he's got a case per nine of 12.1 in Houston. Um, Love that for us. Hey, but Will Love Wagner that. and Joe Lopez. You know what? It was awesome. still a good trade. I still it's still do a great it. fucking trade. Like I'm because you can bring him trade. back if you, if this is what he's going to be. We could bring him back, and then we'll just hire the Astros. But you just talked about Will Wagner and Joe Lopefito. Like, yeah, we still have Jake Locks too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, do you want to know what the Astros did with Kikuchi? They just said, "Hey, you know the curveball that you throw the throw second that thing. most. 
No, throw don't it less. Throw it. it was a changeup they throw tomorrow, right? Change up or the slider. It was one of those two. They're yeah. just like, hey, throw those more. Mm-hmm. Throw your fastball and your changeup more instead of yeah. your curveball. That must have been really hard to figure out because we couldn't do it. it. Sucks. Oh well. We haven't been able to figure out a lot of things. Bro. No, we haven't. Kevin Gosman is trying to throw in a two seam right <clears throat> and shit, and it's like, geez. I don't know. Dariel is something. Bowden, something. Bowden something. splitter's nice. Bowden splitter's nice because he, he got wow. You know, Bowden Francis and Yusuke Kikuchi, you know what they did? They got rid of curveballs and look what they're doing now. Mm-hmm. It is like, what it is. What are we going to do? What can we we'll do? We'll figure it out. Resign them next year. Have some fun. Uh, yeah. Shout out to the White Sox. They still stink. Oh, for sure. And I think Luis Robert got hurt too. Fucking Titan pulled his hammy or some shit. They need four more wins to get to the. No. At the no. modern era record, they need 11. All time, though? 30 is it 36 is the worst of all time, right? 36 is the least amount of wins in like a hundred in a season that was that's over not a full season, though. It's no. not a full 162. I'm still... still questioning if they okay. can do that. It was, yeah, it was 36 in 153 is, is, the, is the games. So nine less games than so they need five more wins to not be tied with that. Yeah, they need 11. They're not going to beat the percentage on that one, but no, they need at least 12 wins to not be the worst team in like since the 90s or the 80s. That's not happening. That's no. not happening. No. They're going to be the worst. They would have to go 500 in the rest of this season. Basically. Yes. They're, this is they're... the worst team I've ever seen. Well, yeah, they already this might be the worst team them. anybody's ever seen. It, it No, it's a. I seen, the worst... no. uh-huh. White Sox team. We've ever seen. Like. Brent, you're back. Yep, sorry. You're good. You're fucking... I made it this far. That's pretty good. We got to wrap this up soon here. We made it an hour. <laughs> and we're, I mean, we're pretty much at the end. We've already yeah. talked about Emmanuel Classe making history. Shout out to him. Um, there is oh, probably six to eight weeks Uh, done. Brent, are you here? I'm kind of here. I think I'm delayed. So. A little bit, yeah. I'll, I'll, me and Nate are still kind of good, so I'll, oh, I'll, kinda, I'll bounce off of Nate. Um, Corey yeah, Seager, yeah. he's probably done for the... Corey Seager, John Gray, and Tyler Molly probably out for the year with various injuries, so... No. Does it matter? Uh, Clayton Kershaw. No. Another Dodger pitching injury. So. Um, cool. And then lastly, That's... we got... Do, 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 you, do you want to... No. We're good. You finish. Yeah, I don't for, care for about qualifying million. off for predictions. Yeah, I think we're good. Not lie. Okay. No, I got. I got one more thing. I sent mm-hmm. it to you guys. No, I sent it to you guys. Oh, Whit Merrifield. Match having he, him he got the, Good for him. Oh my god. Oh, he yes. Three like hundred since he got to the Braves or some shit. <laughs> well, I don't care about that. No, I don't know. That's not what I'm talking about. I, did Did you watch the video, Brent? I just saw the quote. I didn't actually watch the video, yeah. but I I do know what yeah. he said. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the quote. I watched part of it last night, and okay. I don't know. The question to you guys was somebody shitting on what he said. But basically what he was saying is, like, there is a problem in Major League Baseball right now because teams are bringing up these guys. I think he got hit in the face in the game. Is what Back of the head. About. Back of the head. Back of the head. I just, I just saw they had about three or four guys get injured recently by being pitched inside. And basically what he's saying is there's an issue in the game with all these young guys getting pulled up who throw a billion miles an hour and have no idea where the ball is going yeah. and have no care about throwing inside. No. They don't have to hit anymore, so you can't get retribution on them. Like, teams aren't retaliating because you're going to get tossed. Mm-hmm. It, it It's getting kind of ridiculous and kind of scary. Like, it it's... <sighs> It's I, fun I, seeing guys throw this hard, mm-hmm. but when they are pitching inside with, with no him, accuracy, maybe it's the ball since they can't put anything on it. Like mm-hmm. maybe they need to work on the tack. I don't know what it is, but something needs to change because these guys are humming a hundred consistently, mm-hmm. no control and no regard for pitching up on it. Yeah. I don't know yeah, what it is, but something needs to. Well, and even I, like the, board with wood on that. the Jays series, like that just happened. Like Bryce got hit. Bryce left the game. Um, mm-hmm. Castellanos got hit. I'm frozen.
something else I got bit, but I can't think of any. But point is he still trying to talk or is he froze? No, I froze. That we, that we, we <laughs> oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> We gotta end this thing, man. <laughs> we, we're yeah, pushing, we're, we're we're testing. We kind of got through much. everything. So, uh, Nate's right. We're good. Yeah. All right. Is there um, anything quickly? Oh, no, by the way, the no more. No more things quickly. No more. Quick also, things. Jose Quas DFA'd. Perfect. Quas? Our Quas? Whatever. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yes, Jose Quas. Okay. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, we almost made it the whole episode without fucking cool. this up. It's good. We did it. We'll see like, you next like week. Hour. Oh, shout yeah. out, shout out Dusty Baker's kid for getting a hit in the majors. Here you go. Woo. Cheers. <laughs>